Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Saleh again and today we're going to start our series to cover up the Power Apps, Canvas Apps and Dynamic 365 Finance and Operation Integration. Uh, in this uh, series, we will have uh, three levels. Uh, the first one is for beginner or to just for those who are not familiar with this type of integration and uh, what it does exactly mean and why we are using it and how it can actually streamline or improve your UI, UX in Dynamics 365 FNO. And then uh, the next phase or the next stage, uh, it will be another five episodes. So the first one is going to be five episodes. The second one is also and that going to be talking about intermediate topics. And then we're going to conclude this series, which is going to be like 15 episodes, is going to be uh, taking this into advanced type of integrations uh, and advanced type of operations that we have to do in the Canvas app to interact with the uh, data and dynamics of and all, including, uh, you know, power automate flows to automate certain kind of processes in the dynamics 365, as well as using web, uh, web services as well that we can trigger from the canvas app to do certain kind of functions uh, in the back end as a web service in the dynamic 365 FNO. So I'm here in my, uh, dynamics FNO. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, an instance that I have. Uh, this is uh, going to be where we're going to do the work. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, duplicate this tab right here. So I have my instance URL, as you can see right here. And all what you're going to do, this is the full instance. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do and just add the word data. And I will hit enter. This will help me actually to know all the entities that I have. As you can see here, I have the entity is again, all data entity set info. So basically, as you can see here, this is the entity name. And again, as you, you have ton of entities here, this is just something to get you started. Like for example, the scenario that I am trying to accomplish today is going to be that we are uh, uh, going to add a canvas app, embed a canvas app inside the customer's page in my D365. So I have here, I'm going to go to my favorite. I have all customers. And as you can see here, I have my customers. So what I want to do, I want to go ahead and add an app here. That app, basically, I would like to go ahead and see specific information about a specific customer but i want to actually show this information i want to be able to search by the customer name obviously you can do these things but i'm going to show you how we can actually streamline speed up the process here and also uh, remember that you know uh, this is one entity uh, we can actually get uh, by you are selecting a customer in the canvas app we can connect to other entities bring certain kind of uh, uh, you know uh, data elements or do certain kind of calculation to have a summary of specific data elements, right? So uh, that will take us to the point is actually where we add uh, or how we add a, a custom, uh, sorry, a, a canvas app into Dynamicry. So we already have the location now. This is in our all customer page. So this is uh, uh, where we have the customer. This is the standard view. So all these customers are here. Uh, so going back to our point point, as, as uh, you can see here, uh, uh, you go to the app or power app icon on the top right, you can click add app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the add an app. And obviously you will give this app uh, a name. So we, I'm going to call this uh, customers. Canvas power app, right? Now, the second question that, that I have here is the app ID. So from where we can get the app ID, if I have my app, if you go to your app in your make.powerapps.com, so you will go and you will go to your details. And as you can see here, this is your app ID right here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going back to my app ID here. I will paste my app ID. Now for the input context to the app, for this use case scenario, we're going to just get everything in the back end, I don't have to pass anything or I don't need for this use case to pass any parameters, right? So this is the parameters and, you know, for example, it could be the account number right here. Like I can pass the account number, for example, and I can work on a specific customer. This is going to be in the upcoming, uh, you know, videos that we're going to cover this, obviously, how to use the input context 
uh, uh, for this, uh, you know, to pass it to the app as a parameter. The application size, uh, we have thin and we have white. I'm going to have it white because my app will be a landscape app, right? So I want it white. But if you are building a mobile app, for example, right, then you can use the application size to be the thin. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert. Once I do that, nothing is going to happen here, as you can see, except if you see here this star here, that's mean the view has changed and you need to save this view. What exactly this does, we're going to cover it in the next series. But for now, let's actually go ahead and open our app. So uh, when I click on the app again, now I have the app right here as we have renamed it. All right, I just have the PP here wrong, but I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It's asking me to connect in uh, uh, or give permission allow the FNO dynamics uh, uh, connector right remember that this connector is a premium connector that's mean your users will need a premium license it's power apps premium license uh, uh, if, if you have the uh, you know the license itself or per, per user or if you have per app kind of license as well it has to be a premium license why because this is actually a premium connector that we are using in our canvas app as we will see in a minute so i'm going to go ahead and click allow and once i click allow the app is running as you can see here the data is loading on the top here that's why we see in this dots over there uh, and again based on the capacity of your environment or you know the performance you know this is a vm so here as we can see we have the customers as you have the information right here and again, this is just a form. This is an, a view form edit control for those who work with Canvas apps as a drag and drop for, form with mo few properties that I can change here. The selected records that I select from this gallery on the side that I want to see, like, for example, information like address, company size. I can say you publish, establish, and then I have the ID. And obviously, I have all the columns that I can add as we will see. Uh, I, I have also ability here. I added this ability to search quickly in the organization name if I want. So let's say like I want to search, search by ACA, for example. I have all these catalog store. Uh, uh, these are just the names of the companies that has CA on them, right? So again, select quickly that I can get the information about this customer, right, specifically. So I'm going to go out class and now let's go actually to our power apps. So in here we have our power apps, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pin this. So I would like to move this in this side. As you can see here, what I have, I have a gallery. This is the gallery where I have the customer. But before we start with the app itself, so let's see what I have in the data. So the first thing that you need to do is you come and you have to add your data. Like, let's say that I'm going to just go ahead and delete this one. Obviously, my app is going to scream because the main source of data that I'm using in this Canvas app, now it's not connected. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Data. You will search for if thin or and, I guess. So this is the connector. And as I mentioned, this is, okay, sorry, it disappeared. So as you can see here, this is a premium connector. So it's required a premium license. So it's either power apps per user plan, power apps per app plan, or power apps per pay as you go plan, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select this. And obviously, I because I have connected previously, uh, I have the connectors. But if you, in your case, you are uh, not connected yet, so you have to make sure that you create a new connections. And then I will go ahead and create connect. Right. But there is something very important that the, the, the username or the, the uh, account that I'm using here in the Canvas app now, this person has to have access in Dynamics FNO. Right. So if I go back to in Dynamics here, FNO, and I'm going to go ahead real quick in my. Just to show you this, I'm going to go to my system admin. I'm going to go to users. And then I will look for myself, as you can see here. This is Ahmed Saleh. I'm a system admin here. So I have access in this uh, instance to be able to. Add. So that's very important before you can connect, actually, uh, uh, to your uh, Dynamics FNO from Power Apps. And here, again, all these entities, all these tables, this is where the information I said. So you have all this information 
about these entities that you can see now here in Power Apps to see what exactly does have data. Like let's say that, you know, I, I started to look in for customers and then I have customer V2. Basically, the V2 is the most recent entity version uh, from the Dynamic 365. That's This is like, you know, the up-to-date one with all the required uh, uh, columns and fields and logic that you need for the customers. So I'm gonna go select this, but what kind of data is there? There is actually a way that you can do this. What are the columns available in this? Obviously you can do this in uh, uh, Power Apps here by maybe just adding uh, this to a gallery and adding all the columns to see what columns might have data now. Or uh, there is an easy way that you can do this if we go back here, uh, we can come uh, put like forward slash customer v3 uh, uh, and this is, has to be exactly this is case sensitive so it has to be the same name that you can see here in these entities as you can see here the name of the entities so it's case sensitive and then question mark dollar sign top 10 just to not have all the data I will click hit enter and as you can see here this is basically the metadata or the odata or the JSON of uh, this uh, entity so all these columns as you can see right here will be available for each single record in the customers v3 entity right so what columns do you need what kind of information that you need that's all based on your use case so I'm gonna go ahead back to my power apps I will go ahead and connect and obviously this will fix all these errors that I have because I added back the data source that I'm using uh, right here All right. Once that's done, as you can see here, we have all the customers. I have the logic. So this is a gallery. This gallery has the items property in our case that is just uh, using the search function to search on the customer's uh, entity uh, based on the value that we input in a search text box or input box. And I'm searching in the column organization name. Obviously, as you know, you can use the search in PowerFX, Power Apps to search in multiple columns. So that's something that you can do right here. The other side of this screen, I have an edit form. This edit form is in a view mode only. It's connected to the same data source, which is customer V3. And the item property is basically wherever I select in this gallery. That's it. As simple as this. There is nothing really complicated here in this point in our first uh, episode today so we're gonna go deeper after that to see how we can pass parameters from dynamic 365 uh, into uh, uh, power apps bring that value and then start do some kind of operations here to simplify the user i uh, user interface and user experience in dynamic 365 again for the last time so we're gonna go back again to our customers now that you understand what we have done just uh, today so we have came here again we added the app so this is where we're gonna have to go and I'm gonna do this again so I'm gonna go ahead and I will call this customers again this is the same app that we called the same name so customers canvas power apps the uh, app that I have I have it right here so I'm gonna go ahead and paste this so it's this is our app ID and uh, then nothing is being passed again i will just go ahead and insert here where's the i want to keep this app so i don't want to actually every time obviously you have to come and add it this is very important we're going to go in details about how we can save a view and then publish that view to other uh, uh, users to be able when they go to their own screen to own customers to see their customer they can actually still use the same app so basically sharing the app from within dynamic 365 we have to do the two, two type of sharing we build a canvas app we have to share the canvas app from the power platform side and then you have to come and share the canvas app within that view uh, that you have in the dynamic 365 so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one and then I have to save my view so I'm gonna start saving as this is the view so I'm gonna call it power apps and I'm going to call it Power Apps because all the apps that I'm going to build eventually that will work on this page right here, okay, in Dynamics FNO, they will be under this view. So I can I will have multiple apps under the same view, right? So I'm going to make this pin as my default view. Yes, that's fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Save. 
Yes. Perfect. Now the view is being saved. As you can see, this is the view right here. Obviously, the next episodes, we're going to show how we're going to publish this view for other users to be able to access this app. And what's going to happen here now, let's go ahead. I'm going to go do a hard refresh. As you can see, when I come in the hard refresh, because this is now my default view, it's already been here. I can obviously go back to my standard view, but because I already pinned the Power Apps view as my default view, every time I come to this page now on, the default view is going to show as Power Apps. What that mean is, if I click here, I can see the app. Remember, the standard view, it's not going to have that app. So if I'm in the standard view, I click here, I do not have the app. So that's very important. Again, we're going to dive deep into this in the future. I have here, this is my app. I'm going to go ahead and open this app again. Allow. Similarly, I'm going to just go ahead and start and type DE. Let's see if we can get any customers with the searching in DA. And then again, we have this demand, for example, distribution, designer, department stores and so on and so forth as you can see i hope that you like this one stay tuned for the actually next episode that we're going to cover more about passing parameters from dynamic 365 to power apps uh, canvas app and start working uh, with these uh, parameter all right uh, thank you so much and i will see you next time